sure to join the Discord, EthanRen.com. Uh, you can find me some more information there. Um, we were actually short in Turkey from around February. So in February we went short. Why did we go short? We saw this uh, entry here. Uh, again, it touching the 180. So it's like a great opportunity. Short, and there was a massive drop since then. just because prior resistance it continued to run and then that gave us our short opportunity so that's the whole backstory of uh, our relationship with turkeys um, the other thing you probably noticed with turkeys was way back here when this ETF kind of first kicked off first kicked off um, it took a massive ETF was first released. Saw a gain of about 18%. Rocky, Rocky Road to get there. Rocky Road to get there. But you saw about 18%, followed by a massive decrease of about 60%. interpreted as a potential buy opportunity but when you take all the factors into account it it's really not it so here's here's the thinking we do have our range here the quite obvious range of about a 300% gain over what would likely take anywhere from three to four years. So that's not the most impressive thing to start, but you really want to be looking at this descending price channel. Uh, this is a 10 year established descending price channel. Now, as I said, I had gone long and I had gone short on tickets like this before. Part of me, it might not have been I've been playing this ticker for a long time. I like to think um, I'm fairly familiar with it. Um, some, somewhere in this room. As you can see, we have this descending price channel. Now, the buying opportunity on something like this would be every time it touches the support of the detrending or quote unquote the downtrending price channel. Which is why something like this presented an opportunity. 
that being said, it's been pretty flat since. That's not really fair to say. It it has further to show. It has further shown the scent after that. Keeping in mind all the news that, again, I don't want to get too deep into, uh, all the news surrounding the situation in Afghanistan and neighboring countries, what do you think would be a more valid interpretation of the set of data that we propose? Again, we, I, I told you about the run up in uh, 2008. So, as far as we wanted it to, we fought again. Didn't go nearly as far as we wanted it to. It really does have this $27.50 range is like really not too good for Turkey. It keeps getting rejected by now. If I was looking at a ticker like this, I would say that right here, um, the, one, the 180 moving average on the weekly will continue to act as a resistance moving forward, accounting for everything we discussed. Looking at technicals alone, that's the analysis I would have given. Factoring in this current uh, political conflict we have, it makes it look If you guys have any recommendations on things you would like me to cover, feel free to ask at any time. 